Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. Ivy's up on land, Aries is in the water. I think tomorrow I'm actually gonna get in the water with these guys and kind of interact with them, see how the behavior is, right? Get an idea, is Ivy still the same Ivy? Is Aries the same Aries? Just make sure the behavior is the same, right? So that'll be tomorrow. But as for today, I'm gonna actually unbox a massive shipment of some really cool ball pythons. So what do you say we just push our problems aside and just go ahead and do some unboxing? That's right, another unboxing. This is actually uh, always fun, and I know it's this time of the year, hatching season, when I start getting this shipment in particular, because you guys know that I love highball ball pythons, that I'm obsessed with highball ball pythons, and uh, although we produce a bunch, we don't produce enough, so my one buddy produces a whole bunch, and mm -hmm. I get a... Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I get a whole bunch from him uh, when he's producing, so we're gonna go ahead... Uh, by the way, uh, remember when last year you guys sent me the clippers? Uh, I don't know where those clippers are for zip ties. So regardless, ooh, I tell you what, it is so awesome. Every single time I see a bag like this, it is incredible, unbelievable. Okay, yeah, do you guys wanna see? Or do you want me to just look? So I'm gonna show you guys. Take a look at that. That's right, pieball ball pythons. But not just a few pieball ball pythons. We have a lot of pieball ball pythons. Believe it or not, in this shipment, we have 44 pieball ball pythons. That's right, 44. And of course, not only do I want to look at the animals herself and just see how beautiful they are, I want to look and see if there's any emoji smiley faces or anything like that, as well as just everything else. Just make sure that everything looks really good, and then we'll get these guys set up. We always quarantine anything that comes in for a little bit, preventatively treat for mice, just to make 100% sure. Although this guy is always great about it, and just kind of see what's going on. So let's go ahead, set these down a second, and just take a look at a few of these individuals. Number one, look at that right there. Is that absolutely crazy? I love the ones that are like pattern white, pattern white, pattern white. And there's all kinds. There's some high white ones. There's some low white ones. I mean, look at how high white this one is. Just got one little blotch on it. These guys are absolutely incredible. And like I mentioned, even with us producing a bunch, we can never get enough of them. And right off the rip, look at this. We got our first little smiley pie right there. So there it is. We well, could always tell if you get 40 pie balls, 44 in this case, you're gonna have something that has not only wacky patterns, but some emoji of some sort. So this one's kind of cool. It's got interesting patterns all over, but it's got the smiley in the middle there. And then it's got all kinds of weird stuff so wow that is cool so one smiley down and let's see if there's anything else in the meantime they're just absolute rippers look at oh, there's a you so for you utah people out there uh there you go there you go there it is that is absolutely i mean how crazy is that that is so cool these things are incredible again i love pies i've been uh working with them forever and i can never get enough of them that's for sure and listen that's just one bag we've got plenty more to look at here too mm -hmm. so I am doing bad with my knife today, so we got this. All right, here we go. Oh my God, look at this. That's actually a little pastel pie. These were all supposed to be pies, but that is a pastel pie ball right there. That's just beautiful, and it's just that more bright colored, right? That is incredible for sure. Let's see what else we have here. Oh my gosh, there's so many beautiful pie ball ball pythons here. Look at these, gosh, look at this one. I see sometimes I like the lower white ones too, because look at the pattern on that. It's still got the really cool white, but it's got all kinds of interesting patterns to it. And that's the thing that's great about pies, is I always say, you can hatch 100 pies, and there's gonna be 100 different animals, right? You could, you could literally never reproduce the same pie over and over again, because they're always gonna look just slightly different and oh my gosh it's just like such an amazing thing. and the thing that's so crazy about this guys is that you got to remember I've been doing this for so long that that literally there was a time the first pie ball I ever produced and sold was 25 grand so think about that I mean oh, look by the way look at how cool the pattern is on this a low white one but wow is that pattern absolutely breathtaking but I just think about that you know 44 pie ball ball pythons you know back just 20 years ago would have been a million dollars. I mean, literally a million dollars worth of snakes. But I actually always say that I love the fact that the animals have come down to a more reasonable price because it opens it up for everybody. And I think everyone should be able to afford a beautiful snake like a pieball ball python like this. I mean, come on. Can you honestly say there's a much more beautiful animal than that? I mean, that is stunning. No matter if you're a snake person, a person that hates snakes, you're still gonna look at that and go, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. So that is bag number two. Just wanna make sure there's nothing here. Got a couple more bags to go, and we'll see. So far, one smiley and a bunch of really cool ball pythons. Look at that, wow. Just look at that. 
Again, another little U, by the way. So you Utah fans out there, you're gonna have some ball pythons to buy, but that's as close. Maybe got a little bit of a cross right there. That's not, maybe I'm seeing too much in this stuff, but I tell you what, I love it, and they are just so spectacular. Let's see what else we got here. Just take a look at that right there. I mean, that is crazy. I could never imagine 20 years ago I'd be holding on to a badge of ball pythons like this. Oh, and by the way, this is interesting. It looks like a smiley here, and then maybe an alien head right there, right? It almost looks like two little eyes, like an alien or a hockey mask or something like that, but a nice smiley pie there. So that's two smiley pies so far. And again, when I really look at these a little bit closer, I might find some more too. And the truth is, is that, you know, it's not reproducible. You can't reproduce smileys, but it is still kind of adds to the kind of allure of just how cool they are, right? To have an emoji on it. Oh, and wait, we got something else here. What? Well, it's not, I don't know what that is. It's not really a smiley. It's just like four eyes. But look at the difference in patches. This is like a really dark patch here. I mean, it's just so interesting. Every pie ball is so interesting and so absolutely amazing. I mean, take a look at that. I know I keep saying this, but it just blows me away, people. This is amazing to see so many amazing animals. We've got one more bag. Let's see if there's anything really spectacular in here other than the spectacular pies that they are anyways. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. Just take a look at this right here. Just take a look at that. Would you look at that? I mean, come on, people. That is just crazy. Look how beautiful that animal is right there. I mean, this animal is incredible. I mean, just, wow, you just look at the markings. And that's what's cool about pies too, right? Is it's not just the fact that the white is beautiful, but the fact that the patterning is so different. I mean, these certainly don't look like normal ball pythons with the pattern. The pies themselves actually really jumble up the pattern. And this is a good example, right? Because of a low pie, you see the striping and the orange coming up and, oh my goodness gracious, what absolute rippers these guys are. I cannot believe it. So, wow, there it is, guys. Uh, at least a few pies with smileys on them, a little alien head, a bunch of really cool high white ones, mid white ones, low white ones. It's got everything. So 44 pies unboxed. These are gonna get set up. I am super stoked about this. Beetlejuice has done really, really great. And honestly, without the camera, he's pretty much almost ready to be an animal that I can start like doing a little bit more with handling wise. But, uh, but honestly, uh, he, he gets a little nervous around the camera, so let's just see what he's gonna do. He's actually at a prime spot right here. For him to feel comfortable and know that that's a place where he can get his food, it's a good, good, good sign for him. So let's, let's go ahead and get him a little bit of food and let's see what we can do with him, all right? Remember the other day when I uh, pulled out the huge urate from Daisy's cage? By the way, Daisy, you're looking absolutely beautiful, honey. Well, she decided to give the rest of that air. Uh, and it looks like, I mean, either Daisy pooped or an elephant snuck in here last night and deposited this and then the elephant disappeared. I'm not sure which one it is, but nevertheless, that's a lot of turds and we have to get them all cleaned up. I mean, think, look at the size of that turd. I mean, that's like, Oh, it's stinky too. Let me get rid of that. I don't know what I'm thinking putting that right by my face. It really does stink. It's, it's not horrible to be totally honest with you. It doesn't smell probably as bad as elephant turds to be totally honest. I mean, it's not overwhelming. Like when I opened the cage, I didn't smell the poop at all. But when I put it up to my face, yeah, then I can smell the poop. So really for those of you people that don't keep snakes, the snake poops really smell. The truth is, is that it's not that bad. It's not as bad as a lot of animals to be honest with you because they really do a pretty amazing job using all of the nutrients from that animal 
and there's really not a tremendous amount of waste left. So regardless, just wanted to get that poop out of there. Daisy, you're all good. We'll still have to do a little bit of a cleanup of her cage, but I at least wanted to get the big turds out as quickly as I could. So uh, that gives you the idea. If you have a big snake, expect some big poops. Down in the dungeon, you know what that means. Big time. And of course, we don't have that many more ball python clutches, but this is just literally a het albino that was bred to an albino clown ball python. So these will all be double head for albino clowns and albinos that are het for clown. Looks like we've got one little egg out here, so I'm gonna just pull this aside before we even see what mama has going on over here. And then the rest, we're gonna go, come on mama, there you go. And to be honest with you, although we're getting a couple little infertiles towards the end of the year, a lot of times your fertility definitely falls off at the end. And overall, although we have two little slugs, really the clutches have been really solid towards the end here. The same thing happened with colubrids, and I'm not sure exactly why that is because, again, usually towards the end, just the fertility for males isn't quite as good. They've, of course, been breeding for a lot longer and all that other stuff, so the fertility goes down. Basically, in most cases, males will have only so many fertile sperms per year, so as as it gets later in the season, that male has just kind of run out of fertility. But in this case, again, couple slugs, but we have two, four, six, seven beautiful eggs. So things are still working out well. And I think that brings us down to nine more clutches of ball pythons. And that's a wrap on year 2020 when it comes to ball pythons. Woohoo! this is a banger of a clutch right here. Look at this. This is actually some diffuse scale stuff that is amazing. Again, you always know once you put them in the water, they look so much better. They get that vermiculite kind of stuck on them because they don't have the sheds. But then we have actually Actually a little annery scalus right here, which is a black corn snake scalus that is one of the cooler scalus for sure. And then this one is a banger right here. This is actually an annery or black corn, but a diffused one, which is the blood red or diffused. So we have a couple diffused scalus. We have an annery and then an annery diffused scalus. Take a look at that thing right there. Oh my gosh. Once you get it cleaned up like that, the reduction of pattern, whoo, doggy. I tell you, those things are rippers. Baby, baby, baby colubrids. And this is pretty cool here. This is actually a het creamsicle scaleless clutch. So we have some creamsicle corns, we have some het's creamsicle corns, and then we have some scaleless creamsicle corns here, which are really, really cool once you get them in the water. Of course, that little monkey wanted to bite me, but look at this one right here. I don't even know what that one is. I mean, that's crazy. It's got this like crazy green head to it absolutely wonderful looking animal. And again, I don't know if it's that emery influence that is in the creamsicle corns that's causing that green head like that, but I haven't seen one like that. That thing is absolutely ridiculous. So it's pretty cool getting some pretty cool creamsicle scaleless stuff and then that crazy green headed scaleless corn that I have no idea what it is, but it's awesome. The Barney Ball Python hatched out. You guys know I cut the clutch the other day where we had some. Well, this is the actual animal here. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's definitely not purple. It's definitely not what I would consider a purple, purple snake by any strength. But it is cool and I am happy and I'm excited and genetically it's an amazing animal. I think that with a little bit of work, I'm thinking maybe if we mix this now into black pastel and we try to produce the camo black pastel banana, maybe we're gonna get even a more purple snake. Nevertheless, still super happy. We have a little chocolate banana spinner here. That's pretty cool. Another little chocolate banana spinner right here. We have of course the camo ball pythons right here. There's actually this one and then a chocolate pin strike that's really really cool right here so all in all the barney ball may not have been that purple purple snake but hey after this many years of trying for it i'm just ecstatic that we finally hatched one so how awesome is that unboxing 44 pie ball ball pythons again in the past that would have been close to a million dollars worth of snakes it is just amazing to see those and it's amazing that now people can afford them as pets i think it's incredible they are beautiful if you enjoyed this video here is a playlist right over here that has me unboxing a ton of snakes i think you'll enjoy that could you also do me a favor right up here you can subscribe to my podcast channel called checking in every wednesday we do a podcast on friday noah does one that is adult friendly not for kids on that side over here you can subscribe to this vlog channel please turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow